everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is a really sad day around here. Excuse the dramatics, I broke a nail. I don't know how, I honestly don't know how. I was unloading the dishwasher and next thing I know, my nail is like hanging on by a thread, my little pinky. So I clipped it off, I filed it down and we have this little tiny nub and the rest of my nails are in such great condition. They're in such good shape. They look amazing, they're so long and strong, but casualties happen. I was planning on doing a manicure today and that tends to happen to me. A lot of the time when I plan to do a manicure, one of my nails breaks. It's a curse, I guess. But it's okay because I've had long nails for months at this point and they're getting a little difficult to live with. It's really hard to type. It's hard to do certain things. I'm getting kind of tired of being really careful with them and I'm looking forward to a shorty break. So today I wanted to take you along and do a little mani with me as I cut down my beautiful almonds and give myself a little shorty manicure. I think I might dabble with my first fall color of the season, not sure yet, but I'm inviting you to come along for the ride. So without further ado, let's jump into this mani. All right, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This is painful to watch. This was painful to record. These were my beautiful, long, natural nails. They were thriving, and then that little pinky had to go down. So today we're taking them all off and I figured I should film it because it's pretty <laughs> monumental. So I'm just grabbing a nail clipper. This is just a regular old nail clipper as well as my London Town glass file. These are the first two products I'm going to be using. And we're going to start by just taking off this length. Oh my God, I could cry watching this. So it was a little challenging to cut the nails because they were actually too long for the clipper. So they were almost hitting the screw on the inside. So I had to clip from each side to get that length off. So right now I'm just removing the bulk on each finger and then we're going to go back and trim them down a little more and file them so that they're smooth and that they match the baby pinky. I was loving these long nails. I was really ambitious, daring to bear them. I rarely, if ever, go with naked nails, especially at this length. So that was <laughs> kind of a faux pas on my part, but they were amazing while they lasted. And I've been growing them out since May. So they've been pretty long for about four months. So I'm really welcoming this change and, and looking forward to being able to type again. Now that the bulk of the length is off, I'm taking my London Town glass file. This is one of my favorite files of all time. It just works so incredibly well. It never loses the grit. I've had it for a long time and it just continues to impress. And I'm going to file back and forth, smoothing out that free edge and kind of rounding like a squoval shape the sides of my nails. If I find that one of the nails is still a little too long, I'm going back in with the clipper just to remove a little bit more of the length. The glass file really isn't for length removal. It's more so for finishing. That is why I feel comfortable going back and forth with it on the nails. I never, I try not to ever go back and forth with a regular emery board because that is how you encourage peeling and splitting of the nails, but I get none of that with the glass file. So just making my way through each finger kind of adjusting to this new life and these new little nubs that I have, but it's all good. They're just nails and they will grow back. Maybe I'll do another Operation Nail Growth Journey if you guys wanna join along. I did two already this year and think it could be fun to do maybe a third one to wrap out the year. On to the other hand, just doing the same thing. As I'm doing this, I'm gonna take a second or two to match up my left hand with my right hand to make sure that the nails look even and of similar length. Kind of an overlooked step, but sometimes one hand might be a little shorter or a little longer than the other. I have to say, I'm excited for short nails in the fall because I love the darker colors on the shorter nails. Personally, it's my favorite look. I just think that dark colors on short nails really pop. They look so clean, classy, really no complaints about them. It'll be fun wearing some of those Bordeaux and eggplants and browns and rich deep reds with these short nails. You can see I'm also using the top of the glass file as I go to remove any of that like dust or those shavings from the filing that collect under the nail. It's just a great way to quickly remove them and detach them from the free edge. All right, we are almost done here, working our way to the very last thumb before we move on to the next step. All right, so here they are. They've all been clipped, they've all been filed. I cannot believe these are my hands. I can't believe all those clippings on the table. It's so, so sad. Oh, no, okay, done. I'm done complaining about it. I took a quick second off camera to go rinse my nails off, and now I'm gonna lay out my polishes. So today I'm gonna use the Sally Hansen Color Therapy Strengthening Base Coat, Morgan Taylor's Tartan the Interruption for my color. It's just a really rich red, perfect for fall. And then I'm also gonna be using the Nail Aid Quick Dry Glass Shine Top Coat. I don't know if I've used this before, but I do love me some nail aid products, so we're gonna put this one to the test today. We're gonna start with a base coat and applying a really thin coat to all of my nails. You don't wanna use too much product on the first coat. 
You don't want to flood the cuticle. You just want to protect the nail from that deep red that we're going to be putting on it. I don't know why the camera kept going out of focus, but you guys get the gist here. We're just literally painting a clear coat on each finger. All right, they look better already. So I'm going to let these dry for a couple minutes before going back in with the color. So Morgan Taylor is one of my favorite, favorite nail polish brands. I think they're really underrated. They don't get the attention they deserve. They are Jellish's sister company. So if you like any of the Morgan Taylor colors, you can get them in gel as well and vice versa. I'm just gonna go in with the brush, really nice brushes. They're super wide and very easy to work with and paint a thin first coat on each nail. This is really bringing the vision to life. These shorties are now popping. Again, the camera keeps going out of focus. I'm sorry for that. Just a little bead of polish on each nail is all you need. You don't need too much, especially because this is the first coat. The first coat of this color really does wear very red. You'll see in the second coat, it appears a bit more burgundy, but it's a gorgeous shade and one that I have in my collection in both gel and regular polish. Moving on to the left hand, we're just gonna do the same here, painting a thin coat on each nail. If you happen to get any polish on the cuticle or the skin surrounding the nail, don't worry, we're gonna go back later to clean it up. I usually don't bother with cleanup mid mani. It's just easier to wait till the end to do it all at once. And these are looking amazing. I love short nails with a deep red polish more than anything. Once they feel dry to the touch, go back in for that rich second coat. You can be a little more generous with this coat. You don't need to be as thin with it because it is the last coat of color. So I'm just making my way through each finger and carefully painting it on. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I find painting shorter nails so much harder than painting longer nails. There's just less surface area to work with and the nail is completely surrounded by skin. When your nails are longer, they're kind of grown out. So you're painting into nothing. When you're painting shorter nails, you're painting them like right up to the skin. So you're a little more likely to make a mess and need a little cleanup, but it doesn't really matter. Just something I noticed and wanted to point out. Over to the second hand. Can you see how this color is really developing? Such a gorgeous shade and a must have for fall. Once all 10 fingers have been painted, we're gonna let them dry really, really well before going in with the Nail Aid Quick Dry Glass Shine Top Coat. Now, this again is my first time using this. I actually just took it out of the package this morning, so I don't have much to say about it just yet, but as I'm editing this video, this manicure has been on for at least five days and my nails don't have a single chip in them, so I'm gonna try that to this. You can see that it is pulling a little bit of the color onto the brush, which is such a pet peeve of mine. That happens a lot. I don't know if it's because of the type of bristles that are on this brush or the polish wasn't completely dry, but this is not a nail aid problem. This is something that I experience with a bunch of different brands and I really don't know how to prevent it, but we're just going to keep going because I don't notice it ruining the manicure. The manicure itself is not looking streaky or pulled in any way. So, all right, once the top coat is on, we are done. You want to take a good amount of time to let these babies dry, let them dry completely before you do anything. After probably like 20, 30 minutes, I went back in with my sweet almond cuticle oil. I am using the eye drop, which has been my favorite lately. I really, really loving the eyedropper. Um, and I'm just going to go dab a little bead onto each nail before gently massaging it into each finger to complete the mani. This is going to help protect the fresh polish. It's also just going to rehydrate the cuticle and the skin around the nails. I find that when my nails are short, my cuticle oil usage needs to be upped because I'm just more rough with my fingers. I'm not as gentle and careful as I am when my nails are longer. So this is important to apply now, but it's also important to apply later and throughout the day. So we're just rubbing this in and admiring our new shorties. I cannot believe it. I really can't. I've said that a million times, but that is a wrap on this video. That is a wrap on this fresh manicure for fall. Let me know what you think. Let me know if watching me cut my nails down was as painful for you as it was for me. It's all good though. I'm really enjoying this fresh change. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used today will be linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.